What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today we do got top snipe filters in NBA 2K20 My Team. Every Sunday, we go over filters in this game. And honestly, we have a couple that are really OP. Before we get into the video, guys, make sure to smash the like button, drop the sub, and all that good stuff. Let's get 150 likes on this video because this will help you guys make thousands of MT. Best night filters in the game, man. We are doing pretty good. We're very close to 11K. We're about 100 subs away. If you guys could please drop this up. Let's get 100 subs today for 100,000 MT giveaway on Twitter and Instagram. So make sure to smash the sub. We got a big week this week. We're going to go over all the snipe filters in NBA 2K20. And also, I'm selling MT on Twitter and Instagram. So if you do need MT, make sure to hit me up on Twitter and Instagram. But yeah, let's get into the video. I actually want to say a couple things, man. This Clay Thompson's actually very good. I think for the cheap price of 170k, you guys should definitely pick this up. We're gonna get into this video. Um, we got very, very good snipe filters for this. So we're gonna get into it, man. I'm gonna start off with this one right here, man. It's Flash 7 Pink Diamond. I don't know why, but this snipe filter is very deadly. Um, Larry Johnson, Rod Strickland, they're all so cheap, and honestly, you could easily snipe them for very cheap prices and make quick profit especially with larry johnson and west unselled you never know what could pop up on this filter i would definitely try it out man it's definitely worth the try flash seven keep refreshing over here you could even put your max bid over the buyout and continue to refresh with the max bid i definitely recommend you guys do try it it's a very good sniping method this rod strickland does kind of ruin the filter but if you do get larry johnson or something like that it's pretty w's we're gonna get into the next night filter man this one i forgot wes unselled isn't on that because he's glitched pink diamond glitched filter man this filter is money you could get so many cards in this filter for a very cheap price wes unselled nicola yo kids you could possibly get Giannis. there's a lot so i would definitely recommend trying this filter out and refresh like this man you could get west unselled you could even make your maximum bid higher this snipe filter has been good for a very long time let's see if there's a diamond one let's just see uh the diamond one's gonna be a little cheaper you get jr smith ben simmons it's definitely a lot cheaper than the pink diamond one but still you could still get a ton of snipes on there but yeah man we got the new west unselled in my opinion an amazing point guard i think i'm gonna pick him up myself try to snipe him out on this filter this filter is pretty, pretty money. There's a lot of pink diamonds. We're actually going to go over all the pink diamonds in this video. So on the filter, you could get Ben Wallace, uh, LeBron, Giannis, Wes Unseld, and Jokic. So that filter is really good. Profit-wise, Ben Wallace isn't really a sniper unless you get him for like 40 k But there's a lot of profit on this filter. So I would definitely recommend you guys definitely try this. If you get Giannis, it's a huge profit. Yeah, Giannis is probably going to be a lot more expensive. Um, but you could probably snipe him out for 100k if you want to go by Giannis and LeBron. If there's a way to filter that out, it's probably going to be money. But yo, we're going to go over this filter, man. One of the most consistent snipe filters in the game. 650 MT. Refreshed with the maximum bid. This filter has been good for so long. And as you can see, snipes pop up all the time on this filter. Like every second. If you get bronzes for 650, you could sell them for like 1,000 quick. Silvers, 650. Sell them for a thousand. It adds up as long as you're quick with the hands. This filter is very competitive. So if you aren't quick, if you have bad connection, this filter definitely isn't for you. And also, guys, we are probably gonna see. Um, okay, we got that one. We're probably gonna see the game go on sale either this month sometime. I would say June or maybe even late May. Once the game goes on sale, the game is going to be so laggy because if you guys don't know, they drop the sale in Europe, and in Europe it is super laggy. So Whatever you guys have, whatever you guys want to do, get your 12 and 0s done while you can. If you're playing the game a lot, do whatever you can right now because we have a lot of time left. We should be on the auction all day sniping, getting our MTL before this game literally crashes. Like the servers can't handle anything. Once the game goes on sale for like $5, you will see a huge, a huge upset in everything. Everything will be pretty much broken in the game. So I'm just trying to prepare you guys. Mad people are coming to this game. Let's get into the next filter. Diamond filter 
is money. It's still money, man. Even though my boy Reed did destroy it, it's still amazing. And Reed actually went up to around 2,000 MT, I think. So that's a W if you guys actually did invest in him at about 1,600 MT. He could be up to a lot more, like 2,000 MT. That's a snipe. So Larry Hughes right there for 1,800. He's going for like 25 to 3. Oh, we messed that up right quick. So yeah, the diamond filter, mad good. You get Ryan Anderson's. You get a lot of quick profit off this filter. Like I'm talking about a ton of quick profit. This filter is the best filter for quick profit. Like quick, quick profit. You get a ton of diamonds that also go for a lot of MT. I know a lot of people definitely post their diamonds up for cheap because it's like, bro, I don't care. I don't need this MT. I'm getting rid of him quick. I need the quick 1K to snipe. People throw up diamonds for very cheap. So I would definitely recommend sitting on the diamond filter. Oh, there's another one. I can literally quick sell them for more. So there we go. Another Larry Hughes. This is quick profit, man. You could sell that Hughes for like 25. I already made about 1,500 MT in less than a minute. So as you guys can see, man, the diamond filter is good. There's a lot of diamonds that go for 8K plus. So definitely try it out. This filter is good for investing. This filter is good for everything. Let's get into the next filter, man. Pink diamond filter. This one is also popping off because now... Not only is there David Thompson, there's like a million of these bad boys going for so much MT. Um, I would try to stay. Honestly, I would buy Rod Strickland out and press enabled because he is going to ruin this filter. So you need 10K, buy out Rod Strickland, press enabled, buy out David Thompson, press enabled. This filter is going to be absolutely money. Put your maximum bid over the buyout. And yeah, this filter has been good for a very long time. This filter has been good since 2K pretty much started. I would say a month later. It's still good, man. Pink diamonds are up to 10K. Car Malone, if you guys also invested in Car Malone, he went up 7K. He was going for 10K when he dropped. He's 17K. I invested in about five, sold them all for 17K. Made about 5K profit per 25K profit that easy off the Car Malone. So if you guys invest in him, it's a pretty good time to sell. I would definitely say so. So definitely sell. That is definitely a very good idea. Pink diamond filter, like I said, still amazing to this day now we're gonna go over this filter that has been rebirth silver filter has been this i mean not silver filter heat check filter is back somewhat and it's crazy that it's back because they're still not in packs um it's literally about 20 something hundred mt refresh 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 a lot of these heat checks i actually have a ton of them on the auctions i've been sniping them also clearing out my collection these heat checks man i was sniping out also clearing out my collection if you guys have any heat checks I would definitely try selling them before they do drop some type of heat check pack that I've heard that might be leaked very soon. If they do drop a heat check pack, these heat checks are going to go for 1,000 MT. I'm telling you right now, you need to get on this ASAP because heat checks are flying off the boards. People are hearing a lot about heat checks coming back into packs. So yeah, I would definitely hop on this snipe filter and throw it up for valuable prices. You should be able to see a ton of snipes for around 2,900 MT. Just continue to refresh. If you guys don't know, the cheapest heat check last week was around 4,000 MT. So people definitely know something is coming. Something is coming with these heat checks. Let's get into another filter, man. Galaxy Opal around 50,000 MT. Honestly, I've been seeing a ton of 500 Opal snipes as we get to end game because people literally quit. So here it is. Uh, Larry Hughes kind of does ruin it. So I'm just going to press enable because he's that cheap. So there goes Larry Hughes, man. We still got a ton of snipes on the board. I would just stay away from J. Kid and Terry. Pretty much anything else that pops up is going to be a dope snipe. Just stay away from Kid. Just stay away from Terry. Whatever pops up for 50 something K is yours. As long as you do, do it quick. As long as you have your enabled ready, you will get a lot of snipes on this filter. You refresh for about an hour. I guarantee you at least one snipe with 100K profit. That's what I'm guaranteeing. Now, since I do have those cards, the scroll isn't that long. The enabled is working well. A lot of things could pop up, even though, yes, I do have a lot of opals in my filter. This filter is going to be money. And honestly, if you guys have any other filters, please let me know down below so I can drop this filter. Also, one more filter before we do in this video. Spotlight Sim Filter. I was selling a lot of my Spotlight Sim Filter cards. For some reason, a lot of car, a lot of kids put up these cards for cheaper. If you guys remember, my uh, I got to know Mary Spellman or something like that. For really cheap, he was sitting there for 10 minutes. I sold him in literally five minutes later for 5K profit. So this filter is really good too. And honestly, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Top snipe filters done. We'll get into the next video. One more video after this. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one. Peace.